Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know the Jehoshaphat, aka Fat Boy Fish. Hey y'all, it's Monday, and the stresses for my day, it's it's not so severe like that, but I just want to talk to you real quick, family. What's good to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world? Peace and blessings be upon you. Let me say this to starters. Now, the only reason why I won't be celebrating, the only reason why I won't be celebrating the 4th of July is because it's a tradition of men. Now, I know you got families out there and y'all love, just like me, no different than me. Hey, I put my hands in the fire all the time. I love blowing stuff up. You know what I'm saying? That's the main reason why I celebrate the 4th, 4th of July, so I can get me some fireworks and I can set something on fire. I was a fire bug when I was a little kid, but check this out, though. Now, if you could take, go buy your, go ahead, go buy your, uh, your fireworks for the kids and whatnot, but do not sit there and set them off on the 4th of July. Pick any other random day that you would like to use those fireworks. It does not have to be the 4th of July. This is your brother Fat Boy Fish and I'm not celebrating no no tradition, no cut uh, customs of men. Any tradition like that, I don't care what it is. And if you know anything about your history, you know damn well that our people, African people, black people did not get no freedom when uh, white Americans did. And the, and, the, and, the, and the thing about it that brings shame and, and makes me uh, feel mad and sad at the same time is we paid for it. Your ancestors paid for white people to get free through all them continental uh, wars and, and what is it? Um, I forget the name of it. But all them people that George Washington paid for that continental army. You know what I'm saying? That was paid with slave money. So your people, even though they paid for white people to get free, they were never free. So why celebrate a holiday, an American holiday, when it's not for you, black man? When it's not for you, black woman? Your, your people were still in slavery. They were still in bondage. Why is you celebrating traditions of men? But just like your brother Fat Boy said, you could take those fireworks. You can have heck of fun, but it does not have to be on that day like everybody else. Now, what was the topic for today? Regret. Regret. Regret is the topic. And I'm not talking about people who's destined to make messed up decisions with their life. I'm not talking about them. They are going to continue to make up messed up situations with their life and they always going to live in regret. But today topic for today is regret in the order like, let's say, um... You can pick this on relationships. You can pick it on buying something important. You can you can pick this on a place that you didn't go. So it's a it's a gang of different things that this would suit this situation. But family, you don't want to live your life in regret. Let, let, let's say if you want to buy a house, you got to sit there and weigh your options. Don't sit there and throw yourself in the in at something that it seems good at that time or you will live in regret because I'm telling you how it works. You sit up there, you spent that money, you jumped on the first ship that came and then a month down the line, six months down the line, even two months down the line in some situations, something even better comes. So what you really wanted, I mean, what you really wanted, you settled for something that you, you didn't want that. You really didn't want it. But for the price it was, for for you being impatient and not wanting to wait, you just jumped on whatever was out there. You can't, you can't do your life like that or you will be in regret. Now, you sit there, you bought that car, you got in that relationship, you start paying on that house. But two months goes by and you're going to find a better deal. You're going to find every single thing that you wanted in that instant in time that you was looking for, but you didn't have the patience to wait. So that's why I say for this show today, it's called regret. Family, don't regret it. You know what I'm saying? Don't live your life in regret like that. You, you got to wait. You got to hold off a little long. I know it's burning in your soul to have it. I know you feel like tomorrow ain't going to get here, but you going to have to wait. Now, if you're willing to wait, not go throw your money out there. You ain't you ain't gotta necessarily go throw yourself in that relationship just because at that in that moment in time you thought that that was good for you. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret messing with old girl. You're gonna regret buying that house. You're gonna re regret buying that car. You need to wait. 
You need to wait, okay? You put four months into it. You, you got to learn how to wait just a little bit of more time because I'm telling you, family, I'm telling you, as soon as you go after whatever you was looking for and you settle, never want to settle in life. I'm going through this. The reason why I can talk about it so good and so well, because I done told y'all several times, everything I talk about on my show, I'm either going through it or have been through it or... And I overcome it, you know what I'm saying? So I can speak on it, I can talk about it because I'm going through this shit right now. So my my advice to y'all, my family out there, wait that little bit of time, you know what I'm saying? Even if it take more time than what you was expecting, but if you are willing to wait this time and wait on it, you're gonna get your money's worth. You're gonna get every single thing you ever wanted if you're willing to wait. So. Y'all know I say this all the time, brothers and sisters. How bad do you want it? Now I'm saying, how bad are you willing to wait on it? Man, this has been your brother, Fatboy Fish, with our talk for today. Peace and blessings to all my brothers.